Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bolts and Boost. I am going to be dropping the IS300 back on the ground. I'm going to reconnect the fuel fittings, put the wheels on, drop it, and then we're going to work on this guy. I have been waiting way too long to install that exhaust system. Uh, a buddy of mine has a shop and he's just too busy to let me use one of the hoists. So uh, that would have been a bonus, but uh, I get it. Business comes first, right? So uh, I'm going to try and take the ramps off of this guy, move the STI over a bit and uh, change the exhaust on quick jacks. It shouldn't be that bad. I did get a brand new uh, donut gasket too, so if you're, if you're doing the same thing, I would highly recommend making sure you have all the appropriate gaskets so you don't run into a snag. But I'm going to get to it here. I'm just going to button up that uh, fuel line, put the wheels on, and drop the IS. Alright guys, I never have been able to like successfully do the snap thing on this car yet, so I just want to see if it works. The fuel line is reconnected. That went in like kind of scarishly easy, but... Uh, Hopefully she seals. Okay, ready? Let's see if this works here. It worked! It never works. All right, guys. I am just starting to start the STI. Had lots of errands to run. Wash a couple vehicles. So, uh, as you know, I put the IS300 on uh, dollies. STI doesn't like the cold, I guess. That's super weird. It's good now. That was odd. Maybe it has something to do with the tune, but um, that's the factory sound. Sounds like factory STI, I guess, right? So I'm gonna back this out, clean off my pavement in here from the road debris and the salt, move it over a bit, and then put the jacks under the quick jacks and uh, lift her up and put the exhaust on. This is the crappy part of winter that no one tells you about. All right, I'm gonna pull her in. That's a little bit better, don't you think? All right, guys, it looks like she's running a bit better. It's probably because I didn't start it for like a month. I'm assuming anyway, but so far so good. Might as well let you guys hear what it sounds like inside the car anyway. All right, STI is lifted, locked, ready to go. The cables are stowed away in a rat's nest formation. I am now going to spray the downpipe to the rest of the exhaust bolts with handy dandy um, PB blaster. Let it soak for a bit and then take the old one off and obviously put the new one on. All right, y'all. So those are the two bolts that I'm after. This is the down pipe, catalytic converter, the two spring bolts. And it looks like I got a donut gasket in there that needs replacing, which is great because I got a new one. So, uh, Pretty sure the flange is the exact same on the aftermarket exhaust, which is good. It would be because it is a uh, has a donut gasket insert. So I'm gonna soak these, let it sit for a bit, get to work. All right, so I got the spring bolts off. Uh, I'm gonna clean them off, make sure they're not cross threaded. Doesn't look like they are, just a little mucky. But uh, I'm gonna put them in the tumbler, clean them off, and they should look good as new. One hanger down, and four to go. And there she is. Super easy system to take off. Uh, I think before I put the new one on, I'm going to just rust proof some things with the PQR or whatever the PRQ, I can't remember what the heck it's called, but it's great, great stuff. And should be good to put the new one on. All right, so the new stuff is out. It looks very, very nice very well made this is an odd connection here i've never come across it uh this flange sits loose there it almost fits like a, a v-band sort of but this pipe is flush 
against his gasket. It just doesn't look like this matches this, but I have no idea. It's absolutely beautiful. Otherwise, it has a slip joint right here with the clamp here. Here's the old system. Uh, I cleaned up the bolts. They're a lot nicer. Uh, I'm gonna have to replace this one at some point. But I'm gonna go try and put this on the car now, guys. I'm gonna start with this section here and then put the midsection on. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slide it on there first and then bolt it up. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I am a little perplexed at this flange setup they got going on here. Um, it is bending the bolts, as you can see. And I tried to use the factory spring bolts, but like they do nothing. Like it completely doesn't seal. Um, it, I think I think it's sealing right now, but I'm not happy. So I'm gonna have to probably get this properly welded with a straight flange here and a straight flange here. So I'll have to ask my buddy to weld something up for me, make it work. Um, I do have a new donut gasket, as I said, but this one is just like welded on the pipe. So yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna try and button up the rest of the exhaust and see if she sounds like she's leaking. All right. I just don't get it. That flange right there makes no sense. Like the gasket's not even sealing, but it comes with a gasket. And that piece doesn't really even fit in anywhere. And then the slip joint clamp, like it's too bad because this exhaust looks really nice. But like, look at the slip joint clamp. That's like as tight as she'll go. I mean, it's probably fine. But that's literally as tight as it'll go. This is weirdness. And then the flange up there is just way too big. So I'm gonna contact the seller. Hopefully it doesn't leak too, too bad. <laughs> Might as well do a sound check. I mean, it sounds nice. So I was able to fix most of the leaks. I fixed that one right there. Uh, it was dripping water. It is no longer. Still a very weird system. And then the slip joint, I have to figure that one out. It was leaking. Uh, I tightened it, it's barely leaking. It's still leaking just a tad. So I'm gonna try to move it around and fix it. I still think it's too small. But the good news is, is that the donut uh, gasket up there is not leaking, which is a surprise. I thought that would leak for sure. So let's just give it a listen while she's warm. All right, so there you have it. Uh, I wasn't able to find any videos specific to this exhaust system, OBX, I was. Um, but like I said, not specific to this exhaust system. I'll try to put a screenshot to uh, where I bought it 
what the ad looked like so you know what exhaust I'm talking about. But um, the craftsmanship is really good. It just, I would say it's like a six out of 10 for fitment. It fits in the exhaust hangers perfectly, but it doesn't fit to the factory downpipe very nice. And it doesn't fit together at the back very nice as you saw. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it sounds good, it looks good. Uh, I got it on uh, Black Friday deal, so I think it was like 900 bucks Canadian. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, check out the channel for more of this stuff. I got lots of this stuff. I got lots of cars coming on the channel. Oh, sorry, I have lots of cars on the channel. I have more coming, like the Fair Lady from Japan. And I just like doing this stuff to cars. I love working on them, love making, making them my own modifying them, making them better, making them sound better, as we did today. Um, so if you enjoyed it, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. All right, everybody. Peace.